Now, the new uh, sectoral committees, uh, uh, new parliament secretary committee chairpersons, and uh, these have pledged uh, to address allegations of corruption that have uh, plagued uh, some committees. Dr. Joseph Ruyonga, the chairperson of the Health Committee, and Pius Wakavi, chairperson of local government and public services committee, have announced measures to ensure transparency and accountability. The new committee heads were appointed by the government chief whip Dennis Hansen Abua last Tuesday following the removal committee leaders who had served for over two and more years. I think uh, that's why we have been uh, brought in into leadership now. The new leadership has now made fighting corruption a top priority with a focus on ensuring that no committee member approaches any accounting officer without proper authorization. Today I had a meeting with my chairs, I mean my committee members. There are some things I questioned them about. We don't want to go to my committee member to go on behalf of the committee and solicit funds from an NGO or an entity. That one we don't have, we have agreed we shouldn't do that. Let's move as a team, as a committee. We have to use all money from Parliament which is allocated to us. It may not be enough, but it doesn't mean that you have to go to accounting office and start getting much funds from there. So I'm sure now the, the members who are leading these committees, they are serious members, and we shall not allow any bribe any bribe from these ministries, sectors, uh, government agencies, let's go by what parliament gives us. The new committee heads also revealed that members will no longer be allowed to sign reports they did not participate in. This move aims to prevent MPs from appending their signatures in exchange for bribes, a practice that has been alleged in the past. The business of coming to write a report, to sign on a report when you have not participated, this, this would be another corruption, by the way. How do you send a report where you have not participated? That's corruption. Some members are not involved. When they are not involved, in the end, they think maybe the, the, lead, the few leaders who have been uh, meeting these sectors, these uh, agencies, maybe they got some money from these agencies. That's why they end up refusing to sign. But we want to move as a team. If you have not participated in writing a report in the field work, you don't have to append your signature on the report. It's very clear. While some legislators have welcomed the new leadership committee to tackling corruption, others have cautioned them to prioritize key issues, especially with general elections approaching. Of course, handling a committee in the parliament is very challenging, especially uh, this material time when there is panic among the members in their respective com com committees. The challenge will be getting corrupt. But also it requires that uh, the leaders become transparent with whatever is happening in the committees. These committees have work plans. We would expect a very good leader or a, a committee member to share these work plans and budgets with their members so that the members can know what they will do throughout the quarter.